I can already feel all the hate coming my way after this. <laughs> oh yes, yes, finally, all the film major students at my it's college. Okay, it's not a popular podcast. Nah, it's not. Four people will see it. I will. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Big Brain Time. Joining me tonight is the very smart the very talented Mr. Ritwik Singh. Ritwik Singh is an amazing writer director and an actor. He is the creator of a thrilling short film The Tale of the Two Twins. The link for that is in the description below. And also joining us tonight is a very special guest Mr. Bhanu Pratap Shekhawat. Bhanu Shekhawat is the writer director and the actor in the film A Deadly Sin. It's an amazing movie which is coming out this 2nd July. The link for that is in the description below. Uh please aa jao guys. Yeah. Hi. Professional so the... back I'm happy now. Yeah. <laughs> काफी आई एम फीलिंग वेरी अच्छा बाय द वे बैकग्राउंड नहीं है सॉरी गाइस बिकॉज थोड़ा सा सीन चल रहा है मेरा हैव टू कम विदाउट द बैकग्राउंड सो आई माइट लुक वियर्ड बट या हाय गाइस हाय गाइस तो या तो विदाउट माय आई जस्ट आई डोंट हैव अ सेगवे आई विल जस्ट स्टार्ट ऑफ के वी आर गोना बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फिल्म मेकिंग आई कुडंट थिंक ऑफ अ नेचुरल वे टू ब्रिंग इट अप बिकॉज तो या वी आर गोना बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फिल्म मेकिंग एंड भानु हियर इज प्रमोट हिज मूवी विद अस a deadly sin and maine bahut bol liya ab hum uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll uh, start the uh, thing acha well, let's start off with what is film making and how is it like a director thing and what what is it related to like is it a director or a writer or what like anybody um ritik you want to take this or yeah okay see uh, for me like film making is i want to be film making is a process there are a lot of different artists working in that process so there is a director there is a art designer there is production designer there is stunt coordinators it's like film making involves all of these people and you can pick and choose what you want to do like i write and direct mm-hmm. uh, i've done that two times but that's what i do so you choose this is the process of people coming together there is a lot of logistics involved so you come together different artists and making something out of that which is a motion picture right right Mm-hmm. What's up with Bhanu? Uh, well, I mean, Ritwik basically covered most of it. Um, filmmaking is that process of like getting a a team together, and a team is very zaruri. I mean, most of the time people forget that like a team is not that necessary, especially in filmmaking. Mm-hmm. But a crew helps. Uh, good casting, good editors, good sound design people, like. Mm-hmm. Are very helpful. But like very um, same thing, mostly in movies what we see. That अरे भाई writing बहुत अच्छी है movie की. अरे story बहुत अच्छी है. तो like a writer the is the basically the the brain behind the movie, right? कि उसने story डाली है. तो उसका होना चाहिए. तो like मतलब writing writing में भी बहुत है. Because there's there's normal script writing and then there's screenplay. Mm-hmm. Right. Script What's writing is more What's or less. so script writing is more or less the dialogue interaction so like i'm saying that this shouldn't have happened the other person responds by no this should have happened then the screenplay goes into like a deeper form of script writing and putting in actions as well as like you know the sort of sound as well as other sort of design that is necessary for that to come on to like the screen so like where he walks from left to right and all of these segues that happen and mm-hmm. uh, it's not necessary to have a screenplay artist but most of the times when you have one it really helps with the shooting it really helps with a lot of the other things that happen on set right so like but they say if there's a writer theek hai somebody who has written a, a, a story what for a movie theek hai so and now there is a separate guy who's a director तो अब द राइटर हैज अ विजन फॉर अ मूवी राइट के मेरे को ऐसे पिक्चर चाहिए ठीक है ना वो डायरेक्टर कम्स इन एंड ही इज लाइक नहीं मेरे को ऐसा पिक्चर चाहिए तो हाउ डज दैट लाइक हाउ ऑन सेट बोथ ऑफ यू गाइज हैव लाइक अब तो तुम दोनों ही राइटर डायरेक्टर वो अलग बात है बट लाइक हाउ हाउ डज इट लाइक हाउ डू यू गाइज रिजॉल्व इट और वॉट हैपन्स वहाँ पे दैट्स काइंड ऑफ अ ग्रे एरिया ऑब्वियसली वेन स्क्रीन राइटर फेमस स्क्रीन राइटर नेम एन सॉकिन ही राइट समथिंग is social, social network. network play uh 
Yeah, know. the social yeah. network, yeah. Uh, uh, jobs, mm-hmm. jobs movie uh, directed by Dan- Danny Boyle. So what mm-hmm. he his style is, I uh, illegally downloaded his masterclass. So what he was oh, talking about, uh, mm-hmm. that what he writes is generally dialogue. He's good with dialogue. He has great characters and everything. So when he wrote uh, the biopic for Steve Jobs, he intentionally wanted some good director because he didn't have the visual side of filmmaking. He could write and write a good, uh, good dialogue. He could write a good story, but he couldn't uh, get that into visuals as uh, as well. So what director director does that has a vision, visual vision of the thing, okay. and mm-hmm. it's kind of different from what screen screenwriter is doing. So when the screenwriter might be talking about uh, what they say, the char- flaws of the character, it's more character oriented. Now the director comes in, it's like how I want to show this character to the audience. Correct. So basically, uh, kind of the they, they, they say, you can see a very like stark contrast between the two Justice Leagues that came out. Okay, the one directed by Joss. I haven't seen Whedon. either of them. I've not seen. You don't watch uh, it. I've not seen either. Joss and, Whedon and was just. Film. Yeah, yeah. No, Josh I've watched Superhero was... films. I've seen Marvel movies. Not mm-hmm. a big fan of the genre, but I haven't seen a single DC movie. Yeah, because DC extended universe. You're a, you know, uh, you watch all these movies. So, you know, Martin Scorsese never said that superhero movies are, is not real cinema and shit like that. So, I, I don't uh, agree with it, though. Yeah. <laughs> he said that they're amusement parks. I kind of agree with it, kind of not. Mm-hmm. He said they're amusement parks. Like, they're great, right? They're fun, they're good, but he doesn't consider it great cinema. No, but uh, like coming back to kind of agree, kind of uh, Justice League, wala. we'll come back to it. But like, there's there's still a lot of uh, gray areas with what Martin Scorsese says as well. So yeah. when that comes up later, <laughs> I'll just have something to add. <laughs> no, because look, no, I have Justice League, same script, like obviously same writers, and all, but the directors change. Okay, and the whole movie ka tone just completely changed. Okay, although the Zack Snyder one was like a four hour long and he had like a Zack Snyder had a vision for the whole thing, but you can still see that a director can pretty much change the whole thing with the same script, right? So, wo yeah, I no, just... no, that's that's true, that's true. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, like with Joss Whedon, when especially when it comes to like Justice League, mm-hmm. Joss Whedon did not have a vision when he picked up this film. He picked mm-hmm. it up because, like, when it That's was that. midway and it was almost done, then mm-hmm. he, then like Zach was like his daughter died and he had to back yeah. out. He had some constraints and he was facing a lot of difficulty. Josh Whedon Faltuka came in and he's just like, I have hey, to. He like, had success with Avengers and, he and did all. not know. So they were like, Warner yeah, but like he like, couldn't yeah, do that. Yeah, he couldn't yeah. do like that with the half-made movie. So mm-hmm. that's why it went really downhill. Zack Snyder had an image. He just completed it. Joss Whedon couldn't paint like a half-painted painting. So, like coming to the uh, director's involvement in a movie, ठीक है. Uh, you, see, you whenever I see a movie, you see के अरे कितना सुंदर. It's it looks beautiful and everything. के भाई. You know there's certain frames in a movie you like. You should हाँ uh, इसका color अलग हो रहा है. You notice it. It's beautiful. ठीक है. And most of the credit goes to the cinematographer. So how like what is the involvement of the director in that? sense of the movie ke how is the framing how is the how is the movie looking to usme director ka kya role hota hai like as compared to a cinematographer uh for like uh, obviously i don't i haven't worked with any cinematographer probably been a cinematographer myself i've been yeah. everything so i haven't worked with any what what i hear from when i hear directors talking cinematographers talking it's basically uh what uh, a director's job is just explaining It's like बेटे इधर आओ ये करना है मैं ऐसा चाहता हूँ इट्स बेसिकली यूर गिविंग अवे वर्क विच गेट्स लॉट ऑफ क्रेडिट फॉर सम रीजन विच इज गुड आई वॉन्ट टू बीट दैट सो यू आर बेसिकली टेलिंग दिनोटोग्राफर वॉट यू वॉन्ट एंड जस्ट अब तेरे को सिलोवेट चाहिए एंड यू वॉन्ट टू सी दर्सन एज वेल दिस इज दिस इज वॉट रॉजर डीकन इज दीन टाइम नॉमिनी सिनेटोग्राफर फॉर द अकेडमी अवार्ड So he was saying one director explained to him that he wants a silhouette, and when mm-hmm. he saw the shot, he's like, I can't, I can't see his face. Mm-hmm. So that's not a director explaining his vision very well because silhouette में तुम्हें face क्यों दिखेगा? Shit, correct. अच्छा. <laughs> so it's अच्छा. So director. But like also. Mm-hmm. Well, like he also, also said also that like... uh, you need to cast the right people and everything. So you have to explain your vision, what you want. You have that. You have made the movie in the mind. You are explaining that to the people. Hmm. 
Yeah, go ahead, Manu. Manu. But like Manu, most Manu. of the times with cinematographers, with like cinematographers specifically, it's just they have a way of working with like cameras that I'm not like sure a lot of directors do. Mm-hmm. Like especially with um, there's a lot of um, other people involved with cinematography who are specifically handling focus, for example, right? Um, I'm, I forgot what they're called. Um, focus pullers. Focus pullers. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. focus pullers. Yes, thank you, thank you. So, mm-hmm. so focus pullers are specifically there for like handling focus and everything. But when they're there, the cinematographer is trying to frame. The focus puller is trying to keep everything in focus because they have a set vision together. Mm-hmm. They're not working with like you know they're working as one vision, and that vision is usually handed down by the director. Like it's mm-hmm. not just something. Uh, it's not just something the cinematographer can come up with. He knows how to shoot, but mm-hmm. he doesn't know what to shoot at times because that's all on the script and that's where the director comes in. He puts mm-hmm. all of that together. So even, I think then we can also, uh, you know, draw a parallel with editing. The same thing happens with editing. Like a, dire- a director might not know that Premiere Pro is how many shortcuts are there. But he... Editing is not that. But he... Yeah, I editing, what is it? I, uh, this is a big... It's not... Editing is not a technical, not just, obviously, if you're a cinematographer, mm-hmm. you're an artist mm-hmm. who is trying to create something for which you need to have the technical knowledge of the skill. So mm-hmm. editing, an editor uh, editor has to be good at his art. Mm-hmm. Editing is much more complex than that. It's pretty hard uh, to explain it right now. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll try to do that. Like, I know how a program works, but I'll not be a great editor. Uh, if you see a fight scene as a uh, Marvel, mein, there's a lot of cuts, there's constant cuts. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. A, a big problem I have with most action movies nowadays, at least, a lot of cuts. Mm-hmm. And um, and you can't, uh, audience can't really follow that. A continuity editor, uh, yeah. There's no continuity. It's, in it's that. horrible. Yeah. You, right. you, the, your eyes need some time to understand what's going on. Till, mm-hmm. till the time that happens, editor cut cuts with that. Mm-hmm. Now, if you see uh, Enter the Dragon, like uh, some Jackie Chan movie, it's like great editors, their cuts and the shots they use, like Jackie Chan is fighting in a close-up, uh, which which was not generally uh, generally the case because he knew how to fight. Most actors yeah. don't. So they use a stunt double. Yeah. shooting in a close-up. Yeah. So before he cuts to another angle, he has mm-hmm. uh, an established shot, wide shot. So that mm-hmm. understand the audience can understand that where the people are going, they can understand the geography of the room. So Correct. that's where editing comes in yeah. as an art, not just the technical knowledge of that. A director might not uh, might uh, know how to uh, like uh, use Premiere Pro, but he might not be a good editor. Okay, that's- but just right, uh, right. Huh, just I I am I make uh, this content whatever. Okay, so editing is also So what I I stream. Okay, very I and I want to stream highlight. Okay, so streaming is long one two hours. So I do edit I I I have two three editors. I just tell them that yeah, uh, stream highlight. Bana de. What happened was like starting with for the first time the guy just you know just like did. Achha, I don't want to but he just made something that I didn't like. Okay. So like wo, I think is very important that the guy who wants something should sit next to the editor uh, or like some like I, I think yeah, I think happens. they do. I think they yeah, do. I think they, they always do. do. Usually directors are sitting After side the, by side when editors yeah, are working. Okay. They're always there. Because like, most uh, of the time, this... most of the time like yeah, specifically ahead, like most of the time when when editors are working in that like parallel mindset they know what they have to sort of create it just like adds on to what they're thinking you see mm. like with a lot of editors is um they really like we really undermine especially in big scale industries we really undermine editors we don't give them the and credit it's a that tough they deserve job, editors, it's a really tough editors, job editors, editors, no editors. nobody gives them that credit yeah. visual effects is one of the toughest things that i think in mm-hmm. today's industry like marvel is pulling off such large scale visual effects Abhi, there are it's, production it's houses for just visual effects it, exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> but nobody is giving shit to editors like nobody is giving them the attention i, I have a um, uh, lo- wait uh, let me just finish with the uh, editor point uh, what uh, i'll give you a story like uh, quentin dandy you know my my dude right there yeah. so his long time um, collaborator the his editors generally they have an editor like 
Yeah. Every that's project really. they go on, they that's work. Yeah, so yeah. Her name was yeah. Sally Menke. So that's it's true. like uh, when you have a vision, that director has a vision and he's explaining that to the editor. And if they have a good chemistry, uh, what Quentin explains, he and Sally Menke had was like they could complete each other's sentences. So you yeah. have two people with the same mindset. Sally mm-hmm. knows how to edit. Quentin does not know that as well. Mm-hmm. So Quentin is telling her the vision and he, she's bringing it to life because uh, cuts are quite important. Okay. Basically, you're cutting the movie together. They're important. Quentin is not as good as that as Sally Menke is. So that was the thing. Again, CGI. I, what's your, I, I, I love so Banu, like, uh, what do you, what do you feel about CGI? How it's used nowadays? Um, well, I know that, like, I'm not, I'm going to stray from movies specifically, but I know a lot of other TV shows and I know a lot of other um, animations that use CGI not in the way it should be. And it can be upsetting at times, but like, I feel like it's just a faster way to get shit done. And it's not exactly the best way in my eyes. It's just a faster way. That's all. I feel CGI is one of the best things that would happen to a movie. And it's been happening since like uh, 1903. There's this movie right, called right. Uh, uh, A Trip to the Moon by uh, a trip character. to the moon. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. The, uh, George but it was Millier. like really, uh, but that at that early stage in cinema, like that sort of CGI, it's like really not labeled in the right way that today CGI is. It's like a very different sort of like, growth. That is not CGI. Of... It's like visual. I'm talking about visual. Exactly. CGI it's visual, it's visual effects. Like, yeah. Now, so CGI so, is visual effects. more into the computer side of it, right? The virtual uh, yeah. effects. Hmm. Basically, I'm talking about effects that are in post-production. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Basically. Mm-hmm. Basically, what he used was mostly editing, but they were that, that is considered the start of visual effects. So it's mm-hmm. happening for quite a time. They pushed the stories. But like, if I, the reason I have seen, uh, I haven't seen the Zack Snyder movies because I hate the look of them. They look like they're made of plastic. Grimsy. And for the same reason, I love. <laughs> I remember though, someone else telling me the exact same thing. Oh God. Uh, he said that uh, the, the outfits, the way they look is just not it. It's just not it. And um, it all looks, the CGI it that was, horrible, was definitely so not, not worth it. It's also like sometimes with superhero movies. And, 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 also- and, and uh-huh. it's like they use it so lazily. Hmm. It is probably not even the faster way. I, I'm not sure. I'm not in the industry as of now. But I hmm. feel you, using practical effects, like if you want an explosion, doing it on set. If you want a spa- spaceship to blow up, you make a miniature of it and blow it up. And blow That's it up. That's why yeah, you love yeah. Christopher Nolan movies. Exactly. No you love, uh, that, yeah. even though they're not the most great stories, but you love the Transformers, Transformers movies. Because mm-hmm. Michael Bay, he's on Michael Bay. He's doing the explosion. King of explosions. Rohit <laughs> Shetty. <laughs> you, you're doing <laughs> stuff that you can do on set and mm-hmm. enhancing that in post, which a CJ artist can yeah. do very well. What's the, pro- the problem with these Super Evo movies, Fast and the Furious movies? Is It's a very competitive field, uh, CGI. And the time given to the artists are not as much because... Uh, like for uh, this thing, Snyder Cut, I guess the company was better digital. So they've been yeah, yeah. giving like for some sets of uh, set of uh, months for doing a set of uh, shots, they're giving like six months or something for that. So it's not enough time to actually create something that's very nice. Like that is that. It just looks ugly. Yeah, CGI nice. Huh, huh. It just looks ugly. Basically, yeah. it looks ugly. Yeah, it just that's looks like it looks super. Nice. He tried to cover the moustache, uh, Henry Cavill. Ka. That was just like, and that was the first scene of the movie, dude. That turns people off for, for the whole movie, dude. Like, kaise... No, but like, but the thing is with CGI is like Pirates of the Caribbean. They used it phenomenally in my eyes. Like, it's, I think Pirates of the Caribbean is one of the better ends of CGI. CGI. Um, there's also another movie that Will Smith yeah. starred in very recently. Uh, I think uh, Gemini Man. Yes, Gemini Man. And that Gemini was the Man. one where they use CGI to make him look younger. And that di- came out surprisingly well. Like a lot of people were very doubtful of the initial looks and how it mm-hmm. came out. That came out fairly well by the end of it. So mm-hmm. yeah. there's like good attempts of CGI as well. And these are some like really 
Pirates of the Caribbean was a really huge production. Gemini Man was not that like focused on the CGI as such. They were really contemplating on the use of and how they would use it. But the main idea is that if you use it well, if you give someone enough time to use it in the right way, it'll come out amazing. Like it'll look very natural yeah. and very good. But not a lot of people, especially directors, especially directors who don't know about CGI, who don't know about uh, like uh, the deeper depths of these sort of categories. I think and how more than more than the them. directors, I think it's the executives, the producers, the and they the rush the, in the, the directors, right? They the, the, they, they, the, like, the directors, the directors, directors have a larger yeah. say in in my eyes. It's, it's maybe I'm wrong, but like the directors have a larger say, whereas producers are. Mostly worried about funding. Uh, but, yeah, and that gets me to. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're, you're underfunded, you're not gonna get a year to do a exactly. set of shots. Right. You're gonna get six months. So, yeah. The director versus producer like, thing. The director has the say. Who will say that you don't use CGI, but we don't have the budget for it. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, no, but like, uh, you remember the truck flip in Dark Knight? Yeah. 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 The truck yeah, flip. Yeah. Yeah. Abhi karega, so they'll use probably use CGI, but just the fact they flipped that uh, a truck with the trailer, yeah, it just it is so much fun to do it. Just just fun imagine to... being on the set. <laughs> We're gonna flip a truck today, mm. and and doing that in CGI just doesn't look. It looks like plastic. Mm-hmm. But Nolan was known for being all out, no? So I mean, that's Who kind of his forte. Yeah, did you guys see it? The Inception made the scene, the uh, hallway, wala, where it rotates. Yeah, that's, and, uh, they, rotating and, and, that's practical. That's not CGI. And, yeah, and, and that's something that's not uh, from today. In 1969, a movie came out called 2001: A Space Odyssey. Space Odyssey. Yeah. There's this scene and it's not going yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. upside down in the mm-hmm. uh, centrifuge of this space station. So at that time in 19, whenever he made 67, 68, he was 67. using rotating sets to do that. Yeah, yeah. And no, but that's what, that's what I'm saying, that if visually show it visually, they, they put CGI, like if if it's good CGI plus the this thing, the uh, these other effects, the practical effects, they combine to make such great pieces of, even like like Marvel, obviously I'm a Marvel fan, boy, but when you see Marvel movies and you see the Spider-Man ka behind the scenes, you just look at it. Pro proper spandex panta actor, okay? It's not CGI that he is. Also, uh, Dr. Octopus, the... Yeah, Dr. Octopus. Plays, Dr. Octopus, his yeah. tentacles are... Yeah, real. Uh, that, uh, his... That got replaced. That, was spandex si panta hai. Uske, a lot of dots on the spandex. They're yeah, always enhanced in CGI. But even when like you compare the early, uh, uh-huh. uh, even like the early, but, but like the, the, early, Spider-Man. the early ones, the early Spider Man with the tentacles, it came out really well. Yeah, that, like I don't know, maybe that. That's maybe, the best Spider Man. But I really loved how the Spider Man Two. Yeah, exactly. With the Doctor Octopus. Yeah. Phenomenal. Oh, yeah, yeah, that 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 movie is like. Ha, but like, acha, we are talking about superheroes now. So let's talk about the Martin Scorsese wala thing. Ke, uh, how you know it's not regarded as real cinema is it regarded or not like what do you guys think about it uh, i think That's nolan took objective. a really good take i think nolan took a really good take against Scorsese when he went along with the the dark knight trilogy hmm. see the thing is real cinema like whatever we consider real cinema today is hmm. very well built on strong fundamentals uh, hmm. the eight basic elements of filmmaking and how they use it, especially conflict. Conflict is one of the, the stronger aspects of today's cinema. Uh, Fight Club is all about, you know, conflict. Mm. It's about yeah. understanding the two philosophical conflicts and how they go against each other, right? But what Nolan did was show that these sort of ideologies can also be used in superhero movies. There's a depth to superhero movies that's just not being explored. Humanizes Marvel, the superheroes, the basically like... Exactly, yeah, yeah. It puts a very... Yeah, a very realistic take to the superhero genre, Superhero, yeah, and correct. that, you know, like uh, uh, that's Robert the thing. Pattinson's... It's like Scorsese says that he hasn't. He's tried, but he's not seen the movies hmm. because it's hard for him to watch it. If uh, if you uh, like see the fight scene between Killmonger and uh, Black, Black Panther, Panther yeah, that's, that's the worst thing I've seen. CGI. To be honest. That's... Sucked, dude. City uh, as a Marvel fan, uh, sitting but, in the theater, I was cringing. Uh, I am not that sure, idea? but. Uh, Hmm. But the same scene, the company which did it, uh, I'm not sure which company was, was the same scene who uh, worked on Benjamin Button. 
Oh wow! Okay. 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 The okay. same company did great work, like ten years back on Benjamin Button. But this scene that we uh, like we're looking at mm-hmm. is completely trash. The thing is, we see bad CGI. We don't see good CGI. Good CGI. That's the best, best part about good CGI. We never see it. Good. Yeah. Nee, but this is we we he was talking about something is... about said about cinematography also. Mm-hmm. If it's good cinematography, but no, but that's that's the thing. That's the thing. It's supposed to immerse you in that you know film experience. Yeah. Otherwise, mm-hmm. it's just bad. Like you, the moment you notice have... that there's a cut, mm-hmm. it's bad. Done. Like it's just how cinema is. Nee, but how does this? Uh, because uh, I really like. CJ artist I myself I never wanted to be a director mm-hmm. in 7th uh, 8th grade I wanted to do animation I wanted to do VFX CJ yeah so I understand it but it was not for me directing is much better but how does the story so, play to all this ke tum log jo kehte ho movies and all oh. ke you are like a, the visual medium is good but there is also the audience getting interested in the story right kuch people jaise uh, I don't know example Iron Man two, ठीक है great direction John Favreau great uh, CGI ठीक है Marvel का perfect but story हगु ठीक है no idea क्या चल रहा है क्या कुछ भी छः सात plot points घुस आके and end में बेकार था ठीक है तो movie yeah that's the thing now you're what you're saying you uh, uh, consciously would agree with it it's like yeah it's an amusement park you had fun कुछ भी हो रहा था सुपर हीरो and completely trash it with the way you're showing it so that's just because like certain characters have have a certain sort of mental illness does not mean i really like uh, i really like avengers the movie especially like conflict between iron man and uh, uh what's his name captain america the civil war it's actually pretty that good, was good. That yeah it's Dude, like when uh, like the just the image of avengers like they're saving earth and uh, everything and when that un thing is happening it's like they're this footage is of like how destructive it is hmm. and because so, sadak pe le aate hain log ke like niche se street yeah. view se dekho ki tum log no. tum log ne kya kiya yeah ha ah, ah. ha uh, and like uh, ultron ko basically tony stark made him no right hmm. so, so it's like that's... they're very flawed i really like that this But they show again, that's the, the difference trashy cg i don't like सिविल वॉर वर्सेज बैटमैन वी सुपरमैन यू सी द डिफरेंस के दोनों साइड से कॉन्फ्लिक्ट दिखाया in like uh, in a uniform manner it was deconstructed it's like it's like they know that batman was a super uh, man hai and they'll fight at the end mm-hmm. so they wo pata hai unko add kya and wahan se they had to be able for them to fight yeah ha ha i feel somewhere yeah. there they lost it and also ek movie ke baad they just went batman v superman theek hai while marvel <laughs> took like 11 12 movies to just to create characters build character arcs and what not and then ja ke ladai karwa the- I am going to say something that might sound very unpopular because mm-hmm. I have to say this, but the only reason Marvel is still alive is because their cinematic universe is actually really good. Like it's yeah. well built. It's not that their movies are amazing. It's just the cinematic universe that's well. Standalone built. movies that they've yeah, now no, they're not good. Like uh, if like, you separate a movie, they're not. They're, like, not yeah. they're not amazing. Right. Like. the fact that they've added tv shows and that is connected to like the movies the and movie. all of the these universe, interweaving yeah. sort of yeah that universe is what creates it and makes it better yeah but like yeah i, I just, actually don't enjoy the uh, disney plus thing it's like you calling it a cinematic cinematic universe and it's like yeah, yeah. tv universe just, or something yeah, that's just Everybody making money watching it on the fuck disney is making yeah, that's money just that's, that's money. just yeah that's just money. Money. wo kafi straight forward hai yeah. how important uh, do you guys think like movies a visual medium but how important is sound in the movie like sound as in the it's, it's, it's the it's the second layer of movies 
um i feel like it's example. the first layer like, honestly it, like yeah actually for me yeah, for me true. you you see the thing yeah. is you can listen you can you can like this if this is a podcast right yeah. you can listen to yeah. it and yeah, you can I still imagine true. certain aspects yeah. for it mm-hmm. exactly like you know there's a a lot of these mediums especially with sound they're like the most powerful thing you strip a movie yeah. away of its like visual and you just have the sound you can still understand what's going on strip a movie right. away with sound you have no yeah, idea and that's the on. problem that's sound how we effects. watch movies these days anyway we are exactly. on instagram while listening and to that the, the, the fact on. the fact <laughs> that we're like so dependent the fact that we're like so dependent on certain sounds and we don't even know it is just astounding as a filmmaker and uh, rithik i saw like your movie in the the part where you use the train track in that scene in the uh, it was yeah. actually very powerfully used and a lot of people who would be watching it wouldn't realize the impact i link it down like, below rithik bhai can you okay. <laughs> i noticed the railway line running right outside their window how often does the train come mm-hmm. and would you say it's loud enough to mask the sound of a line up can you tell where that where, where i I should say inspired from, but basically copied everything that inspired is basically copying it. Do you, can you guess? The lighthouse. Do you remember that? Uh, no, 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 not lighthouse. Uh, oh, that cinematography. Yes, that was completely. Yeah, the color I was and the look was. Yeah, I was actually, was, uh, yeah, I am actually yeah. proud that I was able to get that. It looked. Yeah, no, it came out. Like it came out in a very. Yeah, it came Ajay, out in a very strong. Yeah, I remember that when mm-hmm. uh, Don, uh, not not uh, Michael Corleone goes to that uh, restaurant to meet the yeah. policeman. Uh-huh. And the first killing he does is like mm-hmm. when Al Pacino is sitting there. This is a train track, and that stuck with me. I, I actually remember my my favorite movies from childhood is Jurassic Park. Like mm-hmm. Every time it was on 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 TV, I was watching it. Mm-hmm. The dinosaur as uh, a first T Rex when he comes is not introduced as a T Rex. He just doesn't come in front of you. Uh-huh. You you have that sound design of mm-hmm. of the thumping. Thump thumping. Yeah. You could have closed your eyes. you know something big is walking even if you had your eyes closed right right so the character if i may say so of mm-hmm. the t-rex is already introduced through that sound mm-hmm. and you are and uh, it gives that in that particular scene it gives that sense of uh, unknown so you're kind of scared of it i was at least <laughs> <laughs> yeah no no i feel like what ritwik is saying once again is completely spot on audio is by far the strongest sort of medium in in like especially with a something that's known as a visual medium audio is the strongest in my eyes mostly because like you listen to everything that's going on and it's it's key like you don't notice most of the things that like happen and uh, but they happen for a reason and especially with sound effects there's certain sound effects that uh, like like in ritwik's movie uh, a tale of two Mm-hmm. Twins. Um, Lincoln Bio. The mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the, the uh, idea of using the the train track came across as very powerful to me, mm-hmm. and it reminded me of certain other movies as well. So, the reason being is that we as an audience are like really susceptible to audio, and we don't know it. Like we we're just open to certain audio interactions, and they change the way we look at the movie, and you don't even realize it's happening. In mm-hmm. fact, there's this movie I think Sound of Metal, if I'm not wrong. Uh, that recently won for the best sound design in the Oscars, and mm-hmm. their key idea behind the movie is more or less just sound. They talk about a drummer who goes deaf, and you see the change. He can hear. Yeah. You can hear the like the the when he's banging on a, a an iron slide. You can hear the like that sound when yeah. he's banging yeah. on like. But he's deaf. But you can just feel the vibration, and that's a, a part of sound design. You you get it like. Right, Even right. when there is no sound, you feel a certain way with sound design. Mm-hmm. It's just really powerfully used in certain ways. It's I just... agree. Even uh, we were talking. Han, you said it's the the first layer that there is to a movie. Uh, I'll tell you with an example how sound is in character itself. When I um, I'll give you an example of Star Wars. You know what R two D two sounds like. Mm. You, Mm. <laughs> yeah, the the sound of R two D two is legendary. It's, it's iconic, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just having the sound, a good sound design, the sound design of the art uh, of the lightsabers or of the mm-hmm. 
what whatever the jets were called yeah, or yeah. the millennium factor what the sound that is that is in itself with the character yeah i mean anybody would, makes sense mm-hmm. even, even if even if like somebody has a, a lightsaber prop even if they don't if they don't uh, play fighting like this yeah. they're doing uh, yeah, they're yeah making the sound mm-hmm. they don't have the prop, no no even you don't even prop. need like sound. you don't even need strong sound design artists to create something iconic like you know in the uh, koi mil gaya Mm. the the sound that they used to call the alien oh um, oh aaj ke zamane mein bhi every yeah. Yeah, exactly. everyone yeah. knows it everyone yeah. knows it yeah it's only but you remember we will guys a good movie bhai honestly i liked it matlab story wise whatever uh, it was my childhood it was my childhood <laughs> yeah it was three movies uh, like i mentioned jurassic park three movies that i loved in my childhood jurassic park three yeah. movies that i loved in my childhood koi mil gaya and laksh laksh yeah yeah laksh yeah. three movies that i loved in my childhood jurassic park koi mil gaya and laksh laksh man three movies like yeah dude dig the sound now sound design also covers the soundtrack of the movie right the 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 thing that was mostly christopher nolan as in the interstellar mein aise pura wo kya <laughs> वो पूरा ऑर्केस्ट्रा बज रहा होता है दैट्स दैट्स हैंड्स या आई डू दैट गाय लाइक पकड़ा जाता है भाई वो तो लाइक बट ये वो जैसे वो आई आई रिमेंबर द सीन इन द इंडस्ट्रियल जब वो ही इज ट्राइंग टू लैच ऑन टू द वो स्पिनिंग और वो घूम जाता है ना बंदा फट जाता है उसका थिंग्स इन और लाइक आई रिमेंबर द नेम इट्स द साउंड ट्रैक इज कॉल्ड नो टाइम फॉर कॉशन dude that was so intense bhai just because of the soundtrack but obviously stakes are very high but the soundtrack i've got yeah, i could say i i like mai abhi dekh raha hu like it, it like it's crazy dude ke wo aise like pura aise even the acting obviously amazing and the soundtrack everything just combines to just give you an experience and us time pe i don't think anybody is thinking about something else theek hai so no, i mean see yeah. the thing is with with sound like mm-hmm. Uh, specifically in in terms of creating a soundtrack right uh, it's also a lot of key vision has to go to the director as well like mm-hmm. because he creates a sort of layout for the movie and that layout has to be followed which means the sound has to go in that layout like it's kind of like basically basically what yeah. we are saying is director bhagwan hai director baap to you know That, yeah. but, that's a, that's but like there's this uh, I I don't know uh, Ritwik if you know but um, I'm sure you've heard that H- Hans Zimmer came uh, out in one of these news articles and he said that when he was going through creating the Dark Knight trilogy, you know those really loud horns, the boom, French horn, boom, the French horn. That was like that was when the French horn sound effect peaked. when he launched the first i think batman begins i think with the trailer Knight it it became like more prominent yeah it became yeah. every every trailer at that every trailer time, like, at its peak do, do, was do, using do. these french horns <laughs> yeah and nolan nolan reinvented these french horns like they grew in popularity because of like one or two ways of using it right yeah. so but hans zimmer said that this was one of his worst ideas he said that you should not be using the french horn it will not work but then he's like no go for it so you see like why his vision is there because he feels like there is a certain impact that needs to go into the film and that would be covered by also, a yeah. certain instrument like this and hans zimmer is like are you insane who is going to use a brass instrument like this what, what there is no technicality to this but hans zimmer found a way to make it sound good i guess uh, and it worked it worked amazingly but the idea is that sound is is vital but most of it has to be in that certain like box or in that certain sandwich that the director is creating that's, yeah that's i think cool. now we've shifted from sound to music which is let's yeah, let's yeah. go with that there's a difference ha ha sure uh, let's like what the yeah. the use of About, like, uh, bollywood mein to dekh everything is just uh, it's a musical basically every almost every bollywood bollywood movie is a yeah music. i i yeah just kirat i i don't care what you say dil chahta hai was by far yeah. the best movie in terms of sound it, like music it, it's just there is no competing there is no competing yeah i also Dil like joda akbar had the best tracks like joda akbar in terms of the soundtrack like i i i was uh, there was a video usme uh, they showed ar rehman like literally just like he saying ke ha the uh, this guy is going through some agony and he was like composing uh, like on the video and i saw that and i was like and then i went and watched the movie you you see that right when you hear the composers wo you see that so in terms of the music also and like soundtrack i think uh, bollywood mein bhi there there are amazing 
yeah. there is amazing stuff but there is also yeah. uh, garbage I'll like give an Lord example uh, yeah. of uh, this movie uh, a bengali director he was contemporary of satyajit ray this week gutter and named after this week gutter that's that's one cool thing about me so <laughs> in uh, his movie called subarna reka named after a river so there is this character and earlier in the movie it is established that uh, this lady only sings when she is sad and there a lot of things happen and when she finally sings in the movie when there is a musical it's a, when the musical thing happens she is singing because she is sad so it is in the story also you can uh, to use music if you have to you can use it in the story it is a character a trait of her that she sings only when she's sad yeah. mm-hmm. and also when music uh, let's leave uh, musicals if we talk about musical music scores i feel most of the movies uh, when you're watching them when you picture it you have the sound in, in the back of your mind uh, you're watching uh, sergio leone western you have in your morricone the good <laughs> the bad and the ugly wala yeah. yeah yeah or you're watching star wars you're watching uh, indiana jones you're watching jurassic park this is all john williams by the way mm-hmm. you have that sound yeah, star wars se wo imperial ma jata hai pam pam ha yeah dude this sound is so iconic hai bhai star wars ki to you i have john williams has a way of uh, music man and, and visuals i feel okay visuals and the story alone can make you cry but uh, have you guys seen the shinless list uh, in the last scene when oscar shin is like i could have done more yeah. and uh, it is the shinless list theme you you there's no way humanly possible even hitler would cry on that cry time. yeah <laughs> you know that that's yeah so exactly. powerful man so yeah music does that uh, but i'm i'm sure if hitler was it's like oh shit kya kar diya yaar main kya sod raha tha very powerful <laughs> oh man uh, but uh, yeah bhanu bhanu please talk to me about uh, a deadly sin abhi uh, humne we haven't gotten the good stuff yet yeah what is it about what okay <laughs> yeah um so uh, i had had seen this um, netflix documentary on uh, robert johnson and mm. uh, i was really intrigued by robert johnson and how his life went about and if you know robert johnson you can practically map out the movie but you can't it's just uh, a very big oh, mix on oh, mystery okay, uh, okay he's a blues he, he's a blues musician who uh, they say that he sold his soul to the devil to become a very good musician a rock star uh, while that sounds yeah like that yeah. sounds like a lot of nonsense uh, a lot of his final tracks that blew up before like after he died were uh, the devil's blues uh, the dog hounds are chasing me very tracks that like depict satan in a very you know that he i will hunt you if you make a deal with me kind of way and mm-hmm. so it became like really known with his personality that he sold his soul to become famous and he made some really amazing tracks uh, especially for like the blues genre at his time right but um, my movie specifically delves on the question like how far would you go uh, to to like you know give in to that desire or is that desire something you were given to so it's not really in the uh, very literal or linear sense of explaining the story it, it goes in a very uh, very metaphorical uh, way about talking about what is what is what you want and is it worth paying for like what is it worth the price basically and that's like a 20 minute movie shit dude it sounds heavy man it's like it's so awesome it's like it's like dekh bhai i i'm not going to lie the score the guy who did the score with me i mean like kudos to him he, he even did the trailer track so yeah dude um, that was good uh, trailer mai like, dal dunga isme kahi dal dunga trailer god damn so, man banu has a whole crew yeah <laughs> like so now i'm to free music online i'm we, using tone <laughs> non copyrighted music hai na non copyrighted soundtracks yeah that's what we do i'm just hoping ki bhai ye pass ho jaye scrutiny wo competition mein isko jaane de you know the thing through, is man. the thing is like i couldn't use non copyright for 20 minutes like you know 20 minutes Correct. was a big waited time for using yeah, actually, a track like, most of the 
non copyrighted so, music i did i did half of the sound and it's saturated and yes sab, sab logo ne you know use kar rakha hai to it's very like suna hua hai ye hai so it's good that he has a guy i have a guy devang but aajkal hame kuch zarurat nahi hai yeah he has cook king with the <laughs> yeah cooking but the thing is like is i i spoke to him mm-hmm. I, i spoke to him and i was like uh, so the guy who's working with me his name is kunal bhargav if you're listening to this kunal you're amazing but um Thank i'm you saying that like mm-hmm. <laughs> uh so i think that kunal uh, worked with me and he took a lot of time out for this so i the thing is that he was in india i was here and we still had a pandemic going on here so i couldn't go out as much and he couldn't go out as much and while that was a a, a problem at like a certain point in time mm-hmm. that was like a really big problem ki how will we you know finish the entire thing how will it not happen he pulled through at the last moment but the heavy thing is that 20 minutes is a lot of time especially for like short films and uh, a lot of the film fest that i applied to they like 15 minutes se kam hai to short film manenge warna fir feature length mein dalo and i'm like are you insane like 50 minute movies or like 1 hour 20 minute movies are feature length and then you start to complain with pictures that are feature films yeah that doesn't exactly matter. so mm-hmm. it becomes a big problem and i was at a very mid stage that i couldn't reduce it and i couldn't extend it I stuck to 20 minutes and I found a few film fests which were good I applied and luckily we got a few awards but uh, the thing is most of it just like really lied down to you know like persevering which is a big problem for a lot of filmmakers in today's day and age they don't persevere they just like kudos to Ritwik he pulled through he pulled through he had no crew no team he pulled through but and i know a lot of people who would start with something write a script down and just be like yeah ye karna hai na mushkil hai like <laughs> drop you know like shelf and i've shelf projects i know uh, i've shelved few projects i've shelved a few other things yaah tum log to like, baat kar rahe ho baad mein I, amateur youtuber uh, who who just you know tries to make wants to make sketches theek hai main to chalo podcast wagera start kar diya but all i wanted to do was make funny sketches theek hai and i did one theek hai on je coaching and all it's the second most viewed video on my channel but dude that was so tough ke i recorded do bar आउट ऑफ फोकस पता ही नहीं था मैं ऐसे आगे रिकॉर्ड कर रहा हूँ कैमरा फोकस में ही नहीं था इट वॉज सो एंड लाइक एंड लुकिंग एट रिथविक्स मूवी एंड आई सॉ के उसने भी अकेले ही किया उसको मैंने समझाया फोकसफुल कैसे करना है थोड़ा पैसा वैसा भी दिया लोगों को ऑल ऑफ देम लाइक जस्ट लाइक यू नो के Okay, good with bot and yeah. <laughs> to the yeah. uh, do you guys have a production house thing backing you up or really? I I good don't day, have day. a production house but I will not lie I did spend a lot of money because you know locations some of the locations were heavy uh, we had to pay out because they wouldn't let us shoot normally which is kind of a drag but Damn. uh funding is I I'll tell you one thing about funding especially because you know if if you want to make a short film and with like a good two three locations go out there and take some time out if you're going in the range of 20 to 25 even higher 40 minutes maybe and making one good length with multiple locations if it's one location you're like set you don't need to spend so much but if it's multiple locations just keep one thing in mind whenever you fund a movie be it film fests be it anything whenever you fund consider that money gone down the drain because it is not coming back it is not coming back and list it everything you do in filmmaking it's a not like a investment but it is an investment you are paying your like you are paying certain people to judge your movies to build your career you get it yes it's kind of yeah. it's a very yeah. very poetic loop it's basically honest. you know yeah, like, yeah you like, either investing yeah, in yourself you either do yeah yeah exactly. you, you either either do that or go to film school yeah exactly and film school is like even worse to be honest like <laughs> film school is even worse uh, and all my friends who are who are watching this and and are in film school i'm sorry but i'm going to be frank but because this is god's honest truth film school will not teach you anything you do not want to eagerly learn it's just god's honest truth you can learn anything yeah. today you can be honest you can tell them this stupid like it's just <laughs> you have to just put in effort and time you don't need someone who's had time in this like I mean, do you think have you had any like lessons in film studies or anything at all? 
I mean, I've taken uh, illegally downloaded Aaron Sorkin's uh, master class. That that does not count. That is free, so that does not count. But like, I I I have not my, paid my paid for anything. But like, I feel uh, in India, film school, if you can go to a cheap one, if you can afford it, it's a good thing because there's a lot of value of degree in India, which is not the case But probably I mean, somewhere see, out the, other. The thing places. is, the uh, thing is, the thing is. If if you are like really eager and like because a lot of the times, education loan and going to yeah yeah no a lot of the times a lot of the times a lot of parents like my parents as well uh they're just like really against the idea of investing okay. in a place that's just like about a BFA or a degree in filmmaking now some parents might understand and if that's the case go for it I guess but. इंजीनियरिंग कर रहा हूँ जिंदगी में इफ दिस डजेंट वर्क देर इज ऑलवेज अ बैकअप एंड देर इट्स अ गुड स्टेबल थिंग आई थिंक ऑल पेरेंट्स वॉन्ट देर किड्स लाइक ऑब्वियसली दे वॉन्ट देम टू डू वॉट एवर दे वॉन्ट बट दे ऑल्सो वॉन्ट देम के Yeah. to have, have a bad word yeah it's huh, so like they're not wrong, wrong. but like i'm just saying yeah. i'm just saying to everyone who's like out there and saying ki yaar main film school to nahi ja raha to kya fayda that's not the way you can go about this yes. this is an art like it is an actual i can art. tell you about what my plan is mm-hmm. right. like i i i i'd like to go to fti film and television institute of india because after i complete my graduation year i have no idea so fti i I could go it's, to the yeah, it's, it's public, the publicly yeah. funded. It's half private, half public. So I can go there. It's not a big, big deal for me. So if I Come just to have Pune to make movies, movie, I can go to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can go to Pune. <laughs> and it's like when you're talking about backup. Even I had that. मेरे को I wanted to do animation in eighth grade. My dad said, "Come, Pudgy, चले जाओ." So I was in Pudgy from nine to nine. It's like नहीं होगा बस ये. ये इतना stupid है. मेरे को भी ठीक है. मेरे को I like coding and all, but मेरे को physics नहीं पढ़ना है उसलिए. मेरे को coding सिखाओ. मेरे को Python सिखाओ. Physics तो बढ़िया है. Yeah, that's like so stupid. Chemistry short, physics पढ़ रहा है. Physics तो बढ़िया है. Don't don't trash about physics. या जब फ्लूड डायनामिक्स पढ़ोगे ना जब तुम न्यूमेरिकल करोगे तब पता चलेगा इट्स ऑल कूल इन थ्योरी एंड ऑल बट या या कम टू द वेरी इफ एनीथिंग इज अ सिलेबस ना इट विल बी बोरिंग ठीक है इतना मैंने देख लिया लाइफ इफ यू हैव टू स्टडी देन यू इट्स यू आर डन कि नहीं करना नो बट द थिंग इज पीपल हु आर स्टडीइंग इन फिल्म स्कूल वहां पे भी पता नहीं क्या-क्या हरकतें कर रहे हैं वही मैं सोच रहा हूं कि कितना करना पड़ता है दे आर नॉट एक्चुअली स्टडीइंग स्टडीइंग दे आर जस्ट किलिंग टाइम इट्स नॉट आई थिंक दो दो फिल्म मेजर अह फिल्म मेजर मीम दैट्स लाइक अ फिल्म मेजर कम्स टू अ पार्टी हैव यू सीन द कोएन ब्रदर्स ब्रो सो मैन सो दैट The way get pretentious also. I am pretty pretentious. I'll be honest. Uh, I can already feel all the hate coming my way after this. Oh uh, yes, yes, finally, all the film major students at my it's college. Okay, it's not so popular podcast. Ah, it's not. Four people will hear it. I was just about to say this. I literally had a podcast. What six thousand subscribers? Nobody Chai else in school has that. Hell yeah. Uh, Doing good. Then... Just get us. उसकाउटिन <laughs> 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 I have a oh, few words, mm-hmm. guys. Like, subscribe, or comment. Reach, but out, please. Yeah, that was good. Uh, <laughs> and thank you, Jaskirat, for putting me up on the show. Uh, It's fine. Big man. fan. Big fan. Fan, fan goal moment, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'll make memes the entire time. Uh, <laughs> I'll make stickers out of this. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm saying that. Uh, uh, that aside, uh, go follow a deadly son on Instagram. It's a deadly son official. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll link it down below. In ka daily sin ka Instagram, their website, and check out their moving releasing this Friday, uh, the second of July. And uh, yeah. trailer dekna to abhi dekhlo. Unka Instagram pe hai. It's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Like, it's mind blowing. Rithik, do you have any? Yeah, I just really enjoyed this. I'm glad I was invited back. Hope I get invited back again. It was good fun. 
yes sir i don't have a movie to promote <laughs> <laughs> right there yeah but uh, yeah thank you for giving gyan to uh, me and my audience thank you guys for joining tonight uh, please make sure you uh, hit like share and subscribe and see you guys in the next one chalo